Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Well, with this video, I just wanted to show you guys some uh, some good pairings. I'll just quickly show you some uh, some videos and uh, why I think it's it's a good idea having these combinations. Well, <clears throat> we have uh, Tannoy and Aquaface, and they are pretty compatible together. They they do a lot of the, um, I would say, the same type of religion of, of music. So I would say the Tannoy are, <clears throat> what can I say? They're, they're a bit like an, um, almost an improved B&W, where they just work really well with aquaface and that aesthetically comfortable rich pleasureful sound and notice the guy that that has this setup wooden uh walls uh at the back and also the side and 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 that really helps like boost this 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 sound so yeah i mean aquaface works with a lot of gear I think this is especially a, a, a good combination. I'm not a crazy fan about Tannoy. I think that they're generally a pretty decent brand. Um, only really big problem I have with them are mainly price. I find that they're just not, <clears throat> you know, giving quite that value that you could get compared to some other speakers. But I, I find them to be, you know, fine, fine. Fine overall speaker, not quite that ultra detail, uh, micro detail, 3D, uh, what do you call it, layered type of sound, that really sophisticated sound. So, I mean, it's 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 fine for a lot of things. I, I, I think they're generally a really good um, manufacturer and I think that generally they, they boost the sound so it's uh, that's why I call it a bit like a BMW speaker because it has a bit of everything big units it's forgiving compatible with a lot of transistor gear especially gear that's perhaps a bit on 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 the bright side but also neutral side and also a bit on, on the warm side so good overall um, speaker and it's one of those speakers where you could add a bit of more uh, extra room between this the uh, the speakers back walls and the side walls and still have a pretty good sound so uh, overall okay fine um we're, we're, we're definitely getting up there to to uh, the good speaker territory um <clears throat> so yeah aquaface tannoy very compatible two thumbs up and then another one here um again tannoy I like it a bit closer to the wall, so you don't have this pling a ling a ling ding 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 type of thing. I think it's a good touch for the plants, and and yeah, this is a different model. Well, um, yeah, uh, I mean, I, I quite enjoy these uh, speakers. I haven't heard all of, of the models that they make, but um, generally a nice wooden textured type of sound. Um, very much into that aquaface, a bit, also a bit on that ear type of sound where it's, it's a bit exotic and I think generally Tannoy and Aquaface is a lot for people who likes to listen to music that is a bit on the beautiful side an interesting fun and intriguing side um, I think if especially if you're the person that likes to listen to instruments it's it's definitely uh, you know up there uh, clearly not the best but uh, it, it does a lot of stuff that's that's interesting 
the the big beef I, I kind of have with Tenor speakers is that they just boost the sound and generalize it and, you know, paint it with broad strokes. Uh, it just feels like the brush that's used to, to paint the picture is a bit uh, thick, stubby and generalized and, you know, pretty uh, talented. But, you know, it's it, it, I, I think overall it's a fine brand. Uh, I think overall it's a fine brand. So, yeah, good match again. And then going on to something else. What do we have here? Can't even remember it. <laughs> Aquaface again. And yeah, you know, Aquaface CD, Aquaface amplifier. Why not? Makes it compatible. You dig a bit deeper into the sound stage. Everything's a bit more natural. Integrated. Good idea. Always good to use like a thousand or two or three more just to get that same religion. Yep, same stuff. Class A, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the uh, Dune Audio. I think this could actually work, but I think this would be a bit of a. It would be a bit reserved, a bit heavy bit on the nice side but yeah it, it, it could work definitely um this guy obviously has money i mean look at the i think it's wheel yeah wheels here wheels here um this is expensive <laughs> this cl uh, guy clearly has money and it's i can tell just by looking at it it's going to sound pretty pretty comfortable pretty pleasurable uh yeah, just very, very nice. I would personally, um, to make the sound a bit more peppy, fun, uh, give it a bit more spunk, I would then consider actually putting YBA here, like a mid to top YBA instead of Aquaface. I think they could both do a very good job on, on Sonos Faber, but I think, on spe especially Sonos Faber, it would make the sound a bit more fun tiny bit more neutral um just a tiny bit more 3d and, and 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 you know not putting so much on the sound but both could work both could work nice setup you generally can't go um you know you can't it's it you can't really go wrong with 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 Sonos Vapor. It's it's it, it's a fine brand. It's a fine brand. I don't, the only problem I really have with Sonos Vapor is again the the price. But yeah, nice setup. And yeah, what do we have here? Yeah, I think uh, especially when when you're listening to that type of music, Tanoi and Aquaphase are just like an obvious choice. Um, I think especially for people who like, I remember talking to my uh, friend on the phone the other day and he said, so many people, they just want to hear a certain type of detail. And I think a lot of people that are listening to Tanoi speakers, they like this like uh, boosted bass kind of thing. And then you got the boost the bass and it goes to doom 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 doom. And then it, and then then it cuts like over to a guitar like ding 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 ding, pushing it a bit forward. You know if 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 you like that type of, I would call it a bit more of a analog hi-fi effect type of thing. I think Tanoi Aquaface does that. It's it's a very charming sound. I think generally I would consider Aquaface like a like a more advanced Yamaha solution and Tanoi, yeah, a more advanced uh, Yamaha sound. Um, I like the tonal uh, richness and, 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 and the dark wood type of sound it brings. So um, yeah, I have no problems with this, no problems at all. And it, it's a good pairing. I can tell also by looking at the room, this is like comfy area, you know, we're, we're entering the realm of, you know, 40 to 65 year olds, uh, people 
that you know just want to relax when they come home, or maybe they're pensionist or something like that. All respect to those people. They've uh, worked hard, and um, they just want to <laughs> relax when they come home and, and and do it in style. And great job doing that. You know, we've got the uh, the glass at the background. You might not think that that uh, that means anything, but trust me, that actually changes the uh, acoustic quite a bit. Having a glass watch here, 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 here. It does change. Also, the uh, the wooden, um, what do you call it? The wooden sides of the walls changes a lot, and um, I wouldn't change a lot here. Just interesting. <laughs> Sounds pretty nice. Very pretty. Look at the wood here. interesting <clears throat> a great uh, combination again very neat very neat and I kind of wanted to show you guys this this room here I think it's a good idea you know normally I'm not a, a guy who says okay move the speaker like two meters away from the wall or, or how far it is now but I think in, in, in a room that's this small you can still get away with it, so it's uh, coherent. So uh, I, I find this room quite interesting, you know, close to the side walls, but not too close. And then we've got the uh, the distance over there, but still the speakers are relatively close to each other. So again, interesting, um, very interesting. I would though make, <clears throat> I think a small change, and that would be somehow maybe making this rack a tiny bit taller so this thing can be on top or underneath whatever and then moving the rack like half a meter more towards the listener i think that would create a bit more uh, clarity around the speaker and then perhaps i don't know move the the speakers a bit more that way so uh, we get the speakers boost it a tiny bit uh, from having this in the middle just a small thought but yeah it looks good with the room it plays good with the um the the equipment aquaface tannoy you can't go very wrong with that it's a bit like a bn uh, w d3 800 model with uh, macintosh and a lot of other transistor gear just plays that same uh, compatible type of, of, of style of music so well done there I wanted to show you guys this amplifier here YBA Heritage A100 doesn't look very interesting and high-tech and all of that and it's only about a hundred watts but I think that a lot of people that that own these big speakers like I just shown you with uh, Tannoy or maybe Focal or maybe a, a Sonos Faber these are speakers uh, a bit on the reserved side you know and i think that even though you might not have a huge room um, i still think you could gain a lot by just putting some kind of an integrated amp like this or for example it's big brother passion ia uh, 350 something like that i think if you take one of those two ones it's generally going to make your sound powerful enough and the thing is, I think it's going to give you a bit more intimacy. And most people, they don't have a room that's bigger than 25 uh, square meters. I think most people only have like a 20 square meter room or maybe even a 25 or if they're lucky, a 30 or 35 square meter room. And, and I think that, you know, up to about 35 square meters, I think this thing could do the job on a lot of speakers not all and um, especially if you only have like a 15 20 square meter room or even 25 definitely try and, and, and consider this amp and then maybe upgrading it later uh, like I've shown you in the, one of my videos that's a really good start for for hi-fi and I feel that you know generally with these big focal speakers 
Sonos Faber speakers or like a really good uh, B&W speaker that you found or, or just in general a, a bit of a warmish type of speaker that's got some big units and you just want a bit more clarity, you want a bit more fun, you want a bit more spunk, just, just go with that. And um, just to show you guys here. Beautiful. We've got Sonos Faber with uh, Macintosh. I mean, that, that's a good combination. Obviously, um, for people that have a bit of extra money, they want to spoil themselves. It looks good on the speaker. It looks good here. Well, well, okay. Um, value. Um, value. I, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. What I meant is more good sound. Um, pretty decent, good reserve sound. I would personally skip the Macintosh, even though Macintosh with Macintosh is um, <clears throat> pretty neat, pretty good. I would still consider YBA here, here, and with the um, Sonos Faber just to give it a bit more <clears throat> life and a bit bit more freakiness and transparency. Uh, that's just me. This could also work. Just uh, throwing some ideas uh, towards you guys. But but yeah, those are my considerations. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Bye.